Hi guys, it's Christy. I am back with some pockets. Um, today I just was going to um, do some basic pockets. Um, these came um, with the kit, the uh, Nature's Music by Elsie Bell's Bookshelf. And um, yeah, so I thought I would just do some basic pockets to show you it doesn't have to be anything elaborate. So I've got a couple of horizontal pockets here that I want to do. And you could use anything for pockets. You can use folded paper, you can use postcards, you can use cutoffs from the, the uh, kit, or uh, just anything you can think of. I usually put um, a couple of vertical pockets as tucks, and then I'll do a couple of horizontal pockets. I usually do a postcard size pocket on the front and back cover, um, but I just realized when I was putting um, these items together that I haven't done my, my covers yet for these journals. So I will probably be doing another um, pocket video with the Rosie Elegance journal and then I will work on the covers. Um, because this, these journals are just one signature, I'm going to do the um, envelope a 9 by 12 envelope and then what I do is um, I've enlarged some pages from the the kit and I will decoupage those to the envelope so okay so let's see this is the horizontal or sorry vertical horizontal and this is a horizontal and then this is this is a vertical. I think I did this upside down on my other one. Let's see. I guess it won't matter. Because um, I've got I've got a set I've already finished for the second journal. So um, I don't know why I have these pearls in here. I don't want to do that. That's for the other journal. I need some rhinestones. Um, I buy it like this on a sheet. It's got adhesive back, but I um, I always glue it down with the glossy accents. So let me just trim off, and I just cut them apart as close as I can to the edge. Sometimes easier. Um, said than done. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm going to cut off this piece. And I think I'm going to put three. And, and this is how I usually go about making my ephemera. I lay it out and just start putting things on top that I think I might want. I know I want a little bling here. So, okay. So, I got an extra piece there. I got my new mat so I can stay in frame. I know this little square is where I need to be. So, um, I kind of want to look at what I've done already, make sure I've I'm on the right trail. So I want to get some lace here. This is just um, from a roll that I got at uh, Walmart in the floral section. It's six inches wide and I don't know how many yards, but I've been using a lot of it and I still have a ton of it left. So it's quite a bit of, of lace there. So I'm just going to 
pick a corner, put some lace. Um, I think I'll do that corner. Maybe I'll do the opposite. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as the other ones I've done. But, um, oh, that's only two pieces. I cut the wrong piece. Let's see. This one. Yeah. We'll put that one there. And I think I'll put this one here. And then I wanted to do these buttons, but I didn't want you to have to sit and watch me tie all these because it can be kind of fiddly. Um, these have um, four holes in them. So what I usually do is start in the top and go through with these two pieces. And I'll pull it through and then kind of hold it and just poke it back. The wax helps it stay where it belongs. This is waxy linen, wax linen cord, I guess. And, um, and then I just tie it once. And then I'll cut off about... A quarter to about a quarter of an inch sticking up there. I lost a piece. I don't know where it went. Oh well. Oh, there it is, stuck to my scissors. Okay. So, um, like I said, I like to use the glossy accents because um, I know it's going to stay on there. And I need to remember to take off the backing. That's the one thing I always seem to forget on these. Because most of them, when I buy them, they don't have a backing on them. But I didn't, I didn't really notice this time that it had the adhesive back. I usually buy it on a roll, like a ribbon roll. And that one does not have adhesive. So, I guess this could ha come in handy for other things, since it's adhesive-backed, but there again. Did I take it off? No. There we go. And one more. You don't need a lot of glossy accents. It's pretty potent. It does take a while to completely set, but not not that long. Oh, this one. Way crooked, and see, that one's pretty set, so it doesn't take long at all to set up. Okay. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is just scribble on some, some glue here in the corner. I'm going to have a little bit of lace hanging over and then what I'll do is the glossy accent on the back of the button will actually hold the uh, lace in place. And I just need to hold it for a second so it'll make contact. Contact. My words aren't coming today. That is not unheard of. I trip on my words quite often. It's nice today. We have about 98, 99 for a high. So right now it's 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 getting warm but it's not super hot yet. The air of course is on already. I don't care for the price of electricity in the summertime. <laughs> But you gotta have the air conditioning. Okay. A bit more. Sometimes this lace will stick right down, and sometimes 
it comes right back up like that. I don't know. I guess it depends on how much glue I have on my hands. But there, it, it'll be tacky under there, and so when I put this on, that'll help keep it or not. There we go. Maybe I didn't get enough. You just hold it for maybe five seconds. It should be fine. And then these um, will go in the journal. Like I said, I usually like to have a couple of spots, vertical and horizontal pockets. And then um, when I see how much ephemera, there, there's quite a bit of tags and such in the kit. So when I see how much I have after I've sewn in the signatures, then I will be able to see if I need in any additional pockets. Um, but in that case, I may put some... Um, mo uh, portable pockets or I don't know what you would talk, call them but pockets that I would just attach with a paper clip so something like like maybe this that's been folded out of a, a large actually that's two of them been uh, folded out of a book page and makes for extra places so um, all kinds of of pockets that you can put. Oh my goodness, that slid way over there. How'd that happen? I don't know why those, these two aren't sticking. Just not hold it long enough. This one is sticking. This one is sticking. That one is sticking, I hope. Yeah, so I just didn't hold this one long enough. But you can see, you know, you don't need an awful lot. I mean, especially using the uh, pieces from the, uh, the kit itself, they're already decorative. And um, I actually think that I saw this on um, Yvonne Preston's um, YouTube channel um, she did some ephemera and it was very basic just a little bling and I think she used some cheesecloth or, or um, gauze uh, and a button so it wasn't too complicated so um, but it, it looks it looks nice so um, anybody can do anybody can do it so I want to put these in here and I think this one was in the front. Yeah. So the horizontal pockets were on this page. This is a cool page. I remember this page specifically. This is, <laughs> that sounds weird, but I coffee dyed this paper and I needed it to dry quicker. So I took it outside and it was a little bit windy and I put a rock right there. And uh, yeah, so that's why I remember it. it. It got really, really dark on that side of the paper, but not this side of the paper. So I thought that was really cool. So let's see. Okay, I want to use the horizontal ones on these pages. So I've got one here and where's the other one? Oh, here. Here we go. All right, so fold that back just a smidge so it'll stay open for me. I want to attach these. So I'm going to put my thumb on the opening so I don't accidentally glue it. And the reason I use glue instead of tape, I see a lot of people using tape, and tape is fast and don't have to wait for it to dry. But I have found, personally, that if I use tape, and I'm doing a quarter inch from the edge and a quarter inch from the bottom here, but I have found that when I use tape, the things that I uh, stick in the pocket stick to the tape. 
and so I always use a wet glue on my pockets just to make sure they're going to uh, hold what I want but not keep what I want <laughs> they'll release for me so these pockets will go in this way I left the I did a quarter inch from the edge quarter inch from the bottom um, but I'm leaving a little bit of extra room and as you can see these don't match because these pockets are two different sizes but that doesn't matter because they're going to be at different places in the journal so um, but I want to leave a little room here because I'm going to be sewing sewing in and I don't want the pocket to necessarily be that close to. It's a fat signature so it's going to kind of curve in the middle and so I left a little extra room there for that. Okay, so we have that one done. And that's how that'll look. That'll be here and that'll be here. And then the next one I think was, it was this page, after the dictionary page. Now, um, these I'm going to do vertical pockets. So um, these aren't really technically pockets because I'm only going to do the one, one side and the bottom. Come on. So these are more tucks than pockets, but you could make you could make them pockets. It would be up to you. I liked this edge on this paper was kind of ripped. So see that that makes a a little tuck where you'd be able to put things in here. larger items that won't necessarily fit in a pocket. So just across the bottom. Okay. And there again, quarter inch from the top and the or from the bottom and the side. Roughly. You could center it, I suppose, but this gives me a little bit more room. So, there we go. So that will go here. There we go. All right. So, I will um, put these in this journal as well and um, I will be back with another video um, on pockets that will be um, using the Rosie Elegance uh, kit and then um, after that I'll be working on the covers and then we'll sew in the signature so um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time Bye.